connectivity, how arrows connect to processes in eSanki. Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you about the behavior of arrows as the processes they are connected to are moved or dragged around in the Sinky diagram. This is in particular about connectivity, how arrows connect to processes. To uh, be able to show you, I'm going to expand the small existing Sankey diagram I have drawn so far a little bit. I'm going to put another additional process and add a flow in this Sankey arrow. Okay, I'm going to pick a flow here, drag it onto the arrow and then enter a quantity to see the flow quantity mass proportionally in the Sinky diagram. What I want to show you is that when I drag the process, the new process I have set here, um, then the arrow follows the process. It stays connected and will move along. But what happens when we move the process further than expected? Let's say more than a more than 45 degree angle between those two processes, you will see the arrow jumps. It suddenly connects to the target process at another side. Here it, it connects to the top, uh, to the left. So as we move the process around, let's go all around this process in the middle, it will connect to the right of the process I'm moving and finally as I get back to the final position to the left again. This behavior is called connectivity and as we can see the connectivity for the process I'm working on is set to free so the arrow can connect freely at either side of the process. I can force the arrow to actually connect to this process at a particular side by setting the connectivity to let's say to connect from the left side and uh, the arrow has to leave the process on the right side. This is the entry left to right in the drop-down menu. So let's see what happens as I move this process again. The arrow actually stays connected to connect on the left side of the process. And well, this will may actually cause some weird arrow routing as we move the process too far away, but this will give a general flow direction to the arrow and we can do the same thing here. I'm gonna change the connectivity setting to left to right for the process in the middle as well and as I move the process here the arrow stays connected, it leaves the starting process at the right side and it connects to the target process on the left side. So this will actually uh, cause your Senki diagram to have a general flow direction f in this case from left to right and as you have seen other connectivity settings are possible for arrows.